everyone, it's Disney Nerd here. Shuffle back. <laughs> so this is the final video of my little series of the five top rides I like to do at the Walt Disney World parks and today's is Magic Kingdom, my favourite park. So I chose my piglet top because it matched my rose gold ears that I bought. The very, very first pair of ears that I ever bought was these ones because the last time I had a hat, I didn't have ears. So anyway, my sister actually bought ears before me. I just realized that. Oh well, anyway, let's cue the music. super excited this is the best video to film i love talking about magic kingdom and everything to do with magic kingdom but this is my top five rides and this took a huge time to decide which is one of the reasons why it's the very last one because it took me forever to decide which of the five rides do i love to ride the most but i have finally come up with a list and i cannot wait to show you guys what i've come up with so let's go with number one so the number one ride that i must do at magic kingdom and it kind of gives it away with my t-shirt is the winnie the pooh ride i love the winnie the pooh ride it is a kids ride you are sat in a honey pot and it's just so much fun and it's nostal nostalgic i nearly said that word wrong nostalgic for me because winnie the pooh has been such a big thing in my childhood i always say that if i was going to pick any character as my favorite character without my categories it would be piglet so winnie the pooh has always been a part of my childhood and i just love the winnie the pooh ride it's just super cute the characters are cute, you bounce with Tigger, you're sat in a really cute honey pot, and it's just amazing. But I would always recommend you fast pass this ride. The queue can be horrendous. And I would queue in it. Jordan would definitely not queue in it. I would queue in it because it's, again, it's nostalgic, I have to do it. But I got a fast pass for this because the queue can be horrendous, like I said. And it's just, it's just a feel good ride. And if you have kids or if you don't have kids, you need to do this ride. It's just the best, the best ride in Magic Kingdom. In my opinion, this is just my opinion. Don't hate me for it. Don't hate on Winnie the Pooh. I don't think anyone can hate on Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> just, I, don't, I just don't think it can be possible. So number two for me is the mountain. It is a splash mountain. I love Splash Mountain. I had the opportunity to ride it back in 2004 and I was terrified of it because I didn't know what to expect. I didn't know what it was about. I thought there was some creepy stuff inside it. And it's just Br'er Rabbit. And when I watched it on YouTube afterwards, like a few years afterwards, I felt like such an idiot because I was like, oh my God, like I could have easily done that. I was nine and I was scared of Splash Mountain. Yes, the drop is terrifying. It's 50 feet, but actually inside it is what I was scared of. I wasn't scared of the drop. I was scared of what was inside the building. And I feel like a numpty, like an absolute idiot. But it's just, it is the best. And like I said, you can go on Splash Mountain, you can be dry or you can be absolutely soaking. It doesn't really matter. But it is so much fun and I did it first thing in the morning. It was the very first ride that me and Jordan went on in Magic Kingdom after our breakfast with Winnie the Pooh. Different video. <laughs> I just, I'm just too excited about this. Um, yes, it was the first ride we went on and we were actually like, I think the first or the second boat. And it's just so much fun. We actually managed to do all three mountains in one day. I definitely recommend getting there for rope drop 
and getting straight on them mountains because we did Splash Mountain, straight after that we did Thunder Mountain, we did Haunted Mansion and then we went to meet princesses and it took us maybe half an hour to do all that. Anyway, totally different video. But yes, Splash Mountain is number two. So number three going in Tomorrowland is the Buzz Lightyear Space Ranger Spin. Again, this is a competitive thing, not for me, but you know, you get like a little gun and you have to shoot the Zergs people and they've got like little Zeds on them and you get points and you could be, oh, what's it called? Galactic Hero. I've never done that. I don't think I'll ever do that. Jordan didn't do that. I think he wanted to, but he wouldn't sit and watch Michael Kay's tips video on how to get the Galactic Hero, so that's his fault. Anyway, so it was, it's just so much fun and I would definitely recommend fast passing, but the queues aren't too bad. They can be, but depends what time of day you, you want to go on it. But it's so much fun and like I say, you just have this little gun and I have some questionable photos. Me and my mum went on it and there's a photo and I'll know, I don't have it on me, which is a shame because I really wish I could show you guys, but we look so gormless. Like I'm like this. And then mum's like this. Like, we just totally look oblivious to the camera. But I usually do. And if I find some photos of me actually looking oblivious, I will show you. But I know for a fact I will not be able to find that photo because we actually got it printed. Like, on an actual, like, photo thing. Because it was in 2004 and, you know, digital prints didn't really exist back then. Which makes me feel really old. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> that's number three. So, number four is another mountain. It is Space Mountain. Space Mountain is so much fun and it's in the dark and you can't really see anything. And it's super fast and you launch in a rocket. It's just so much fun. But we went on the Space Mountain for the Halloween party when it was absolutely pitch black. And that, my friends, is a totally different experience because when you go on Space Mountain normally there's like stars and you can sort of see, but that was absolutely pitch black. You could not see a thing, but it was still fun. And I love Space Mountain. I just think it's a little, little roller coaster, but it's just super fun and super fast and yeah, it's just my second favourite mountain. Big Thunder Mountain would be my third because it shakes you about and you're like, I, I, I'm not for that. And it can actually hurt sometimes. But that's not number five. So let's find out what number five is. So number five has to be the Seven Dwarfs Mine Train. This is a hard fast pass. This is a long queue. Depending on what time of day you go on because when me and Becky went, we didn't actually have a fast pass for this. We queued 40 minutes and the queue was so much fun. Again, because Disney makes the queues fun, so you don't actually feel like you're queuing for a really long time. You wouldn't even know this. But we went on it at the very end of the day and it was just super, super fun. We went on it before the Halloween party. Again, super fun. And I really like this ride and I do not like Snow White. A lot of you know that. If it hasn't become crystal clear, then I'm surprised because I do mention this a lot. But I'm not a huge fan on Snow White. I love Dopey. And I'm kind of starting to love Bashful because I just think he's cute. But I'm not a huge Snow White person. But this ride is just super cute. Again, the animatronics, like when you're in the mine and they're all, like, working. <laughs> where it just looks like they're just having a load of fun. And then obviously like you come out and you're, like, you're in a minecart, so it's like tilting you and it's just so much fun. And so that is why I chose it as number five because I do really love going on Snow White. I just think it's fun. So yeah, that's it. So thank you so much for watching. This has been my favorite video to film because like I said, I love talking about Magic Kingdom. Have these five top rides shocked you in any way? Did you expect me to pick them? I know a lot of people will be surprised because some people like more classic rides. 
like Peter Pan and Small World and stuff like that, that again, that is a totally different video. I have another video idea, but I would like to know you guys' opinion because I don't want any hate from it. And um, that is just the five, the four rides, actually. I'll go for four because I'll choose one from each park that I am not a particular big, huge fan of. Again, just my opinion, but if you guys would mm -hmm. like to know mm -hmm. what I think, then please comment down below and let me know and I will film that video for you guys. I have a lot more video ideas. I have a whole notebook full of video ideas. I think I'm going to do more of these sort of sit down videos. I do have some pins coming. I know I keep saying I have stuff coming. I did have to put my Boobity Bobbity Box on pause for this month just because it wasn't a great month for me. But I have a Boobity Bobbity Box coming for May, which will obviously be here in June. So that's that. Um, but that doesn't really matter. It's just it's just one month. It's just it's no big deal. So I do have videos coming and I do want to be more consistent on my channel, which is why I'm doing these sort of types of videos. I want to talk about my favourite characters that I like to meet. I want to talk about my favourite dining experiences that I liked, character dining and non-character dining if you would like that, because we did go to some places that weren't character related, as well as a lot of places that were character related, and I can do separate videos on those if you guys would like to know. I don't go to Walt Disney World a lot, so I can't say that there's going to be vlogs. I keep convincing Jordan to let me go to Disneyland Paris so that I can vlog that for you. It's not going well so far, but I'm going to keep trying. <laughs> but anyway, that is it from me. Thank you for watching another video. Please like and comment if you will agree and what your favourite rides are and if you would like me to do the rides that I don't really like to go on in each park. Please let me know. Subscribe if you haven't already. We hit our first milestone and are plodding towards getting our second one, but I cannot wait until I get that milestone. And I just love doing these types of videos. It's a great distraction from stuff that goes on. Um, but again, thank you so much for watching. I love talking about Disney, so Disney videos are always fun. Um, I have some more goodies lined up from Japan. I know a few of you guys liked my video of the chocolates, thought it was funny. My mum even thought it was hilarious and she, I've never watched any of my videos, but I showed her that one because I was talking to her about it and she was like, I want to see your reaction. So I showed her and she was just a bit like, oh my God. So yes, I have more fun videos on their way for you. But until then, this is me. So thank you again and I'll see you all soon. Bye.